I think applying up applying it. I think applying it with my finger. Stinking good. Stinking good. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I hope that you guys had a really happy Thanksgiving. I'm actually filming this before Thanksgiving, but I'm sure that we will have a wonderful one because I get to see my family, which is always one of my very favorite things in life. So yeah, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. And my hair is different today. I used to fix it like this a lot, but I haven't in a long time. I used, I actually used a different tool today. I used, um, Bedhead S Waver. I'll link it down below for you. I'm not a hair person. I don't do hair tutorials because I just kind of wing it with my hair. If it's something like this, I just clamp it down and if it's curled, I just wrap it around a wand and switch up the wand. So there's that. That's why my hair is different. I just felt like doing something different. It's big. It's crazy. It's a little bit like a lion, but I kind of like it. I kind of think it's fun. So makeup wise this week, what was I doing? Um, I don't know if there's really a theme. I mean, I guess so. Yeah, I would say glowy for sure. I was all about glow, highlight, shiny lid, um, no liner. I normally wear liner on my eyes pretty much every single day, but I was kind of enjoying not wearing liner this week. So kind of all about the lashes and the glow with the makeup. So that's what we got to talk about. So let's get to it. On my eyes this week, man oh man, I love these eyeshadow palettes. These Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palettes. So this is the one that I got in my BoxyCharm just recently this month. And I also have the other one from the other BoxyCharm, I think a couple of months ago. I love them both. They are such amazing quality. Um, today I have on this one, and I have a little bit of this on my lid, but with something else on top of it that I'm about to mention to you. Um, love that one though. It's really, really pretty. It just needs something like a Mac fix plus because it's very chunky and it does have fallout. Even if you use a Mac fix plus, I do still get fallout, but I love it. So I'm okay with it. Um, and then I have on this one, that's all I have pretty much. Well, and I have this cream color. Yeah. But I mean, I pretty much wore all these shadows at some point this week. This palette is just absolutely incredible. I love it so much. They are easy to blend. They're pigmented. They wear well. They make just the most beautiful eye looks. I don't know. After having this one, I think I like this one even better than the other one. I really, really liked the other one. It was more kind of like bronzy and warm toned. So I love that one too, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling this one. I'm kind of really, really loving this one. It is amazing. So yeah, if you can either still get BoxyCharm for this month or if you can just purchase this palette, I would say it's a yes because it's just so stinking good. Stinking good. And the other thing that I have on my eyes that I am so super duper impressed with is this Bodyography Pro. It's a glitter pigment and this is in Stratus. I got this through Octoly. And this is amazing. So amazing. Like I want every color. It's so good. This reminds me of the L'Oreal Infallibles, like how it looks in the pan. But, and it's similar, I would say, but I think this is a lot more glittery than the L'Oreal Infallibles, which I love those. So not saying anything bad about those. This just seems a little bit more on the glittery side whereas those are mostly more metallic. They have some colors that are more on the glittery side, but I don't know. Overall, I would say those are more metallic, and overall, I would say this is more glittery, which, oh my gosh, is just amazing. This is so pretty. This is messy. I mean, I definitely got fallout. I definitely had glitter on my face. I probably got some now, but I also have a lot of highlights, so I'm just glittery, glowy all around today. But I did get fallout with this. Um, I tried it multiple ways. I tried it with a brush with Mac Fix Plus, and then today I applied it with my finger. I think applying ap applying it. I think applying it with my finger. No, I think applying it with my finger worked better than a brush, and just really patting it on. Um, and I did already have what did I already have. I'd already used one of the 
um, shadows from the Studio Makeup Palette, and I'd used MAC Fix Plus, so I had some like kind of tackiness going on, you know what I mean? So it had something to adhere to. So I would say having some kind of a, a like a tacky base, like a Maybelline um, color tattoo or a glitter glue or something like that would help it even more. But even without that, I think it still works, and it's just amazing. I mean, it's it's glowy, it's glittery. I love it. Like, I would say overall, like, this is, these kind of products are some of my absolute favorite makeup products. These, like, super glittery, glowy, metallic things just make me happy. Like, I love this kind of an eye look where it's just so bright and glowy. I love it. So, yeah, it comes with a little, like, stopper dealy in the little container. So, I would say keep that because it kind of keeps it, like, squished down, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I love this so much. I think they have, oh gosh, I don't even know what to guess. Maybe six or eight colors or something like that. So a lot of different options, but I just love this kind of like pinky champagne sort of a color. For cheeks this week, it was really all about the glow, but I wanted obviously some color to go along with the glow. So this is the blush that I wore pretty much every single day this week, and this is such nice quality. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Blush, and this is in Naturally Pretty. You know, I was thinking, like, pretty much every day that I use this this week, I kept thinking about when I had talked about um, Max Breath of Plum last week, and I was saying, I really like that one, but you really kind of have to, like, work with it, because it's kind of hard to make it even, and I just find that it kind of sticks. This blush is, like, pretty much the exact opposite of that. Like, it just takes basically like hardly any blending at all. It just, it seems like it blends itself. I'm gonna show you my cheeks, but I have a lot of highlights. So, I mean, you can see it, it's there, but you're also seeing a lot of highlight here. So anyway, this is kind of what it looks like. But it just, I put a brush, I put it in there, and then I put the brush on my face, and it just seems like it just blends itself. It's so amazing. It's such a good texture to it. This always cracks me up about this blush because it says bye bye pores, but this, I don't know if you can even see it on camera, but the blush has pores. <laughs> like it looks like it has little dots in it, like little pores. It looks like pores. So that just cracks me up, but I love the blush. It is so nice. So the texture of it is incredible. How it applies and blends is amazing. Now this is a bright color. It's it's a pretty bright color. It's kind of like a peachy pink. No, pinky peach. It's more peach than anything, but really, really beautiful. Kind of corally too. I feel like a swatch, it just doesn't do it justice. I'm telling you, when you put it on your face, the blending of this blush it w is what makes it just so nice to use because it doesn't, it doesn't disturb any of your makeup underneath. It goes perfectly with highlighter. Ugh. Love it. I think this is the only color that I have in the Bye Bye Pores blush formula, but I love this one. So if there are more colors, I want to check that out because this is so good. And for the highlighter situation this week, these two right here are like a magic combo. They are beautiful together, but they're also gorgeous individually. They're both just really good products. So first, this is the Vintage, I think this is called Vintage Cosmetics. Illuminating Face Highlighter, and this is in Rose Gold. I got this in my BoxyCharm, and it's gorgeous. I'm so excited about this. I've never heard of this brand. I don't know anything about them, but I know that I like their Illuminating Face Highlighter in Rose Gold. <laughs> I do know that about them. It's so pretty. So it's a Rose Gold. I mean, it's it's got a lot of gold to it. It's got like a orangey, corally undertone to it. And I mentioned this in my BoxyCharm video. I feel like, well, I feel like it's a slightly more subtle highlighter. Like it's not instantly wha-bam. It's not a, um, the Balm Mary Luminizer where it's just intense pigment, but it really can be built up and it just makes a gorgeous blush topper. For my skin tone, that's how I wear it, and it's just amazing that way. So it can be built up, but, oh my gosh, but you can also apply it more lightly for work or school or whatever. So I feel like it's just a really versatile sort of a highlighter, so you can really like do it light and easy breezy for every day, or you can apply a little bit more and get it a little more intense. 
but it's just gorgeous. So it's kind of like right in here. So basically like where you can see all the layers of what's happening the easiest. So we've got the blush here. We've actually got some contour here. And then we've got a little bit of blush there. And then we've got a little bit of this here. And then I'm about to tell you about what's up here. There's a lot going on, but I love it. So this is definitely one of the steps and it's just amazing. And I love the, the packaging to it too. It looks very kind of vintagey and cute, which is adorable. Now what I have going on at the very tops of my cheekbones is another one of the Makeup Geek highlighters. I just can't stop with these highlighters. I'm obsessed with them. I feel like the formula on these is just perfection. Like Marlena got these so spot on. They're just amazing. They are so amazing. The packaging is beautiful on them, so I always love that. But the product inside is just incredible. This is one of the duo chromes. This is in Psychedelic. And when I first got, I got three of these. I got Luster, Daybreak, and Psychedelic. They sent them to me, those three. Um, when I first got them, Psychedelic was the one that I liked it, but I thought, oh, I don't know. I, I like the other ones a little bit more, but I hadn't worn it yet. And then I wore it. And now I'm really obsessed with it. I would still say the other two are probably my favorites, but I mean, I'm in love with this one too. It's just so cool. Even Timothy commented on it. He said something later, like we'd been, I don't even remember where we were, somewhere. Um, and later he told me, he goes, I really liked what you had going on on your cheeks. Like you had like a, it was like a peachy sort of a thing going on. I'm like, yeah, it was my highlighter. So even he noticed it, but he notices my makeup. So that's not all that unusual. He's really good about noticing that stuff. But anyway, he noticed it too. So I don't even know if the swatch is gonna do it justice, but it is such a cool highlighter. It really like, I would say mainly flashes peach, but has a little bit of like a golden flash to it. And honestly, in some lights, a little bit blue which is so cool. It's just really interesting and different. Amazing. And it um, pairs really nicely with the vintage highlighter too. So, ooh, I just love them together. They're just so good. Can't stop with these highlighters. If you haven't tried them yet, I would highly recommend them. For lips this week, I have three different favorites that were definite standouts to me this week. One is this beauty right here. Just looking at it makes me happy because the packaging is just gorgeous. So gorgeous. This is one of the YSL Rouge, no, not Rouge, Rouge Volupte Shines. And this is in number eight. I think it's like Pink Confidence or something like that. Um, I'll link it for you. But this is just the prettiest color. I love the formula on this too. It just feels fancy, but it also feels like a great staple everyday lipstick. So that's really what I was wearing it for this week when, you know, I just like wanted something comfortable and that gave my lips a little bit of color, but wasn't like over the top, wouldn't clash with my makeup. This is just a, such a beautiful, sweet pink and it's just so glossy and it looks just kind of like effortless. It's so pretty. It smells nice. It smells like Mmm, like um, mango or something. Yeah, something fruity. So I like the scent to it, but the packaging is just so fancy. This is a pricey lipstick for sure, but it feels fancy. You know, it's not one of those things that you purchase and then you're like, I don't really get this price point. You know what I mean? I mean, this is still a high price point, but it feels like a fancy experience. You know what I mean? Like it, the packaging, the scent, the formula, it feels luxurious. So love that about it. Oh my goodness. So yeah, really enjoyed that this week. I'm gonna wear another one of these matte lip liquids from the body shop this week. This is in Nairobi Camellia number 034. And I feel like in the packaging, it looks different than what the actual product looks like. At least on my lips. I feel like in the packaging, it looks a lot more kind of like pinky mauve. And I feel like on my lips, it pulled more kind of like a terracotta sort of a color. Now, I don't know, maybe, it, no. I mean, maybe they look the same. I don't know, maybe it was more like on my lips that it looked a little bit different. But I have a picture on my Instagram wearing this, but it's just such a pretty color. And I feel like it's really fun for like a fall sort of a lip 
because it's got that kind of like terracotta kind of a tone to it. So it's sort of a little bit um, corally, but then it's on the muted side, which I really like. So really beautiful. So I just kind of like threw this on and I mean, I knew I liked it because I really like all these, but once I threw it on, I was like, oh, I really like this. Like, I really like this color. And I feel like it like kind of went well with the makeup I was wearing that day. So it was kind of like an extra surprise favorite at how much I liked the color of it. So yeah, these are kind of like a velvety, moussey sort of a texture. Um, they remind me a lot of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, but maybe a little bit more long wearing, but also, well... I was gonna say maybe a little bit more on the dry side, but when I wore this one, I really didn't notice it feeling dry. So I think it just wears a little bit longer than the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, but it feels very, very similar. That kind of like moussey sort of a texture. Um, it's not liquidy at all. It's very kind of like fluffy, moussey, and you just kind of like, you know, spread the product around like you're applying icing on a cake or something. You know what I mean? Where it just kind of like has that sort of a texture to it. Kind of like that but a really pretty color. I don't even know what I'm talking about, cake. Apparently I'm hungry. Now what I have on my lips right now, this was another kind of surprise favorite to me because I've tried these in the past and I liked them like quite a bit, but when I put this on this week, I was like, oh, I really like this. Like I really, really like this. And I don't know if they changed the formula a little bit or if my other ones are just really old and the formula has changed over time. I did throw out a couple of them, so those were definitely bad. I haven't even told you what it is before I go babbling on, let me tell you. I don't know the name because <laughs> it doesn't have it on the container, but it's the Elf Matte something or others. I'll link it for you, but it's one of these like long pencil -y type of a deal. So. It's one of the mattes and this is in the color wine. So I have, I've had some of these in the past and really liked them. Um, now I went to wear one the other day and it was like, oh, something funky about this. Like it smelled bad and the texture felt weird. So I actually threw out two of them. But even my other ones that, you know, I didn't feel like had gone bad, I just don't feel like they were as nice as this one is. Like this feels so nice. The texture of it, the texture to it, no, the texture of it, it's so creamy and comfortable and pigmented and it wore really well. I didn't notice bleeding with it. I didn't notice my lips drying out. I was just like pretty much blown away by it when I wore it this week and just love that color. It's just a gorgeous kind of like ready one so, so pretty. So I don't know. It's probably, it maybe I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do you think that they've changed the formula of this to improve it? Or maybe it's just that I need to throw all my other ones out and get some new ones because this is so good. And I think it's like still three bucks, around three bucks. So nice. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. As far as the Fooey goes, I just thought of this, so I didn't grab it for you guys, but it just came to my mind, so I wanted to mention it to you. The Bella Pierre liquid lipstick that I got in my Boxy Charm, I would say that was a fooey for me because it just stayed tacky the whole time and just always kind of felt sticky. I loved the color of it, but it just seemed like a tacky formula, and several of you guys said that you had the same experience with it. So I'm gonna try to blot it, see if that helps it a little bit, but just overall, it just seems like a tackier formula. So not my favorite. Like the color though, so anyway. That's a fooey that I would mention to you guys. So hope that you guys really enjoyed these favorites. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans, your Black Friday plans. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.